Hello friends, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Hello friends, welcome back to the another video of Python with YouTube series. As in previous video, we have learned how to get access of the YouTube data API. If you haven't seen that video, link in i button, click and watch it. In this video, we will learn the most basic and the first thing which we always do on YouTube, that is search. So we will try to implement search by keyword functionality. So as we have already generated the API key. So now I'm going to create a new project and naming it as Python with YouTube and environment will be I'll select the latest one 3.6 and hit on create. So in current window, I am opening it. Now we will add a script. So it will be as a main and hit enter. So here it is. So in earlier reader, as I have told you that we have some API reference link. So I'm going to open that. So here hit this link and go to samples and here we will select the python it is already selected and here we will search for search for video related to a keyword now click on it and this is the code which we are going to use so and we will use this as it is so we are going to copy it and paste it here. So some of the things which we need to update. So like I'm just removing this because this is not support to the uh, Python 3.6. So here we will use this as this. So here also we need to give the 3.6 format and da, 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 here also like this. So it's done. So here we are getting error. So now to remove these errors, we need to install some modules. So for that, we will go to this guides and uh, here we need the, that module and that name is let me just check uh, where it should be okay so here I need to select the Python yes so here we will have this module which is Google API Python client so I'm going to copy it and uh, just control tab T and paste here and hit enter so it will install or you can just go file settings and here you can just search for that API so I am removing from here like this so you can install from here also and click on install package it will install so package is installed but still we are getting this build and HTTP errors so instead of using API client, we will use Google API client. So here like this and again, we will copy this and paste it here. Now we will install this O2 client module. So again, I'm typing pip install and paste and hit enter. So it is also installed. Now below this code, here we need developer key and which needs to be replaced. So the developer key which we have generated earlier. So this key we need to copy and paste it here. Now uh, if you go downside. So in main we have configured some arguments and that argument name as Q and help as search term and default keyword will be Google and other argument pass as max result which is limited to the 25 so or we can limit it as 
10 and default will be as try to catch so like this okay so something is removed from here yes so like this yes and we have this function youtube search let's look at it so i'm pressing control and click on it and here we have passed an argument as option and and this line of code will give you the access of the youtube services here we have passed the service name which is youtube and youtube api version and the developer key and in the next line of code we have used youtube.search.list method which i'll show you uh, here in samples and if we go yes in python we have and here we have the search.list method yes here these are the methods which we are using for these services so i'm going back to the code so in list we have passed the arguments and part as id and snippet which will be the name and the code uh, of the video and the maximum results and it is executed now we have created or google has created in their references three list videos channel and playlist why these three i'll show you because when we go to the youtube and i'll search for my channel try to catch hit enter so here we have the channel name in the list then we have the video and when we go down we have the playlist also so these types of things which we are getting in the list so that is why we have three list now coming down so we have created a loop where we are getting all the search results in search result variable and let me just show you uh, by printing this search response what we get so i am just printing it here print search result like this and let's run it so here run main let's see what we will get so i'll show you this one this search response will return a json where we have all the data related to the r search and here we have just passed all the videos channel and playlist into the created list and downside we have printed all the data so this is the thing which we have implemented so let me just remove this and let's run it as normal so yes we got the data so if we count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so here are the 8 videos 9 is the channel name and 10 is the playlist so we have done nothing just we have updated the uh, API key and the same code we can use for our developments. So friends that's it for this video. In next video we will implement some other things. Till then if you like this video please hit the like button. If you want to give any feedback please comment in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you for watching. Jai Hind.